Taiwan is known as an island of pesticides because there is an incredible amount of poison in our daily food. On average, every Taiwanese eats 3.2 kilograms of pesticides each year. Do you believe pesticides can be removed from our food by rinsing with tap water and soaking it with salt water? Lipoid-based pesticides cannot be disintegrated merely by rinsing with water. As indicated in various scientific studies, there is no interaction between salt and pesticides. The only method is by using detoxification. It is capable of sterilization, deodorization and disintegration of chlorine and chemical compounds. Hi there, I'm Fang Chen. Welcome to this program, Live 101. A horrible survey says that we are eating 150 metric tons of pesticides contained in our vegetables and fruits every day. Some may feel it is safe to eat organic vegetables. Unfortunately, the truth is that there is an average of 10.1% of pesticides deposited in our regular vegetables and 8.47% of pesticides in organic vegetables. To minimize the pesticides content in our food, most people use a large amount of tap water and salt. But again, according to professional reports, tap water can only rinse off a limited amount of pesticides and salt water can contribute to the absorption of pesticides into the vegetables and fruits because of salt dissolution. What can we do? These sticky substances which come from the pork contain a lot of antibiotics, hormones and noxious matters. The deposits of 10.1% of pesticides in vegetables and fruits cause each of us to consume 3.2 kilograms of pesticides every day. Our tap water has an alarming, frightening percentage of chlorine. Every day, we consume this kind of water with such high percentage of pesticides, antibiotics and noxious chemicals. To detoxify these dreadful poisons, the ozone machine, which is highly recommended by scientists, is the most effective and powerful method. We will use this small goldfish in our test and see how our ozone machine can rescue the poisoned fish. Ozone has various functions including sterilization, detoxification and disintegration of chemical substances. Among them, the most difficult job is to detoxify pesticides. In doing this test, we can see how the pesticides disintegrate. First, we use the market available pesticides called methamidophers and a small goldfish. We will see how the small goldfish respond to the pesticides. Now fill the container with pesticides. After being diluted with water a hundredfold, the lipoid-based pesticide Metamidophers still shows clearly its lipoid state. We pour three servings of the pesticides into the fish tank. Now, the goldfish seems completely out of action. At the touch of the chopsticks, the fish turn over when we take it up with the chopsticks. It doesn't even have the strength to struggle. Now it is taking its last breath. So we will see how ozone can detoxify the poison in the fish, which looks quite dead in the water, drifting and churning in the turbulent flow, completely lifeless. Please watch this uninterrupted footage and see whether ozone will save its life or not. After one minute, the goldfish is still turning with the flow, without any sign of life. Two minutes later, the goldfish has gradually gained. Three minutes later, the goldfish become alive and is now swimming again. In his more than 10 years of studies, Dr. Lin Sheng Xiong, the vice president of Yuanzi University, has found the chemical composition of pesticide quite complicated. But ozone is capable of disintegrating more than 90% of different types of pesticides. Ozone, or O3, is chemically in a very unstable status. Our ozone machine uses this oxygen atom to combine with other substances, whether it is a contaminant or a germ or virus, in a very powerful oxidizanon process. Ozone is capable of disintegrating the most stubborn pesticides, which cannot be disintegrated by natural organic matter. This cup contains tap water but is added with chlorine testing compound to show a yellow color. This is a bottle of Gentian Violet. This kettle contains natural tea brewed with tea bags. The three different liquids in different colours. The tap water containing chlorine has a yellow colour. The Gentian Violet has a purple colour and the natural tea has a brown colour. We will pour them into separate flasks and see how they change colour when mixed with ozone. Now we add ozone into these three containers. 
After ozone treatment, we see these two flasks containing chlorine and gentian violet are starting to change colours. Now you will see a miracle. In a matter of 20 seconds, the two chemical liquids on the left side obviously change to lighter colours, but the natural tea on the right side still keeps its original colour. You see, this tap water flask with chlorine in it and this flask with gentian violet in it will become clear. But this tea remains the same because it is from a natural plant. We put these pork chops into the container and then we pump ozone into it. After 5 minutes, the container shows a thick layer of foam. After being treated with ozone, the pork chops produce unidentified matter and bubbles. Now, we pick up the foam with a chopstick and burn it with fire. The foam on the chopstick turns to black and smells bad, but it will not burn down. It shows that there are other matters besides fats inside the pork. These unidentified substances will not contribute anything to our health. The above test proves that the ozone machine is capable of pumping unidentified substances out of pork. The larger area of contact with ozone will have better results. Therefore, you can cut the pork into smaller pieces and put them into the water for the ozone treatment. From this example, we can see the ozone machine can easily kill germs, viruses, remove chlorine and also capable of disintegration. According to tests conducted by the world's largest inspection agency SGS, regular tap water as seen in the culture dish shows that it contains golden brown coloured Staphylococcus and colon baculus. But after 5 seconds of ozone treatment, the tap water shows no reaction of viruses or germs. Now, another test with culture liquid. Enteritis vibrio reproduces easily in regular tap water. But the reaction of enteritis vibrio is conspicuously reduced in the tap water treated with ozone for 5 seconds. It penetrated the membrane of a cell to destroy its gene substance and kill bacteria. We are consigned to conduct tests on these bacteria when they are in contact with ozone for only 5 seconds as it can achieve 99.9% .9 of sterilization. In the disintegrating process, ozone is disintegrated to produce an oxygen atom. This oxygen atom is a very powerful functional agent 